so, but I mean, I've been always checking him to make sure he's not getting hungry or anything because he hasn't snapped on me, I haven't snapped on my neighbors and stuff because we try to hold him. But since I've seen his skin like this, um, I just, I haven't been holding him because I don't know, you know, what's going on. Oh, and like you could see in this house right now. Like you can see. Well, you've got some pretty bad infection going on there. I'm going to take him so back. So an infection? I'm going to try and clean him up a little bit. And I'm going to get a fecal sample. And then from there, we'll uh, we'll take the next step. Um, I was also talking to um, Pat up front. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I do not get paid until... that I have up online too. <laughs> so, because uh, my dad wanted me to keep him uh, updated. Because this is like my first like actual snake that I've had by myself without, you know, like my me and my dad taking care of it. Mm -hmm. And, you know, since he's out of state now, it's kind of just me. And I'm like, you know, this is, a, he's like, this is the best starting snake that you can do. Your dad's uh, because wise. My, yeah, well, because my, uh, my partner is terrified of snakes. <laughs> and I was like, please, 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 I want a snake, I want a snake. And I was like, okay, Dad, what's the best starter snake so I could get her to okay. be like, it's okay. And guess where it got you. And okay. Yeah. <laughs> and ordinarily, I would say this is a very good starter snake. Amongst other snakes, compared to other species, probably one of the more boring ones for me, but that's okay. All of you people out there with other, you know, uh, small ball pythons, don't take it personally, but they're much more active snakes. Anyway, this guy was presented today. Um, with uh, severe ecdysis, ecdysis meaning that they're having a difficult time shedding, and wherever you see redness on this guy's area was where three or four layers of shed were left from before, where it wasn't taken off properly or wasn't able to shed properly. Luckily, this guy's fecal is negative. We're not seeing any parasites or problems that are messing with the interior, but obviously something is going on in the exterior for this guy. Turns out mom is using... A, uh, a lot of shredded wood and wood type products. The bad news is when they get wet or damp, there's a lot of bacteria like Klebsiella that grows in there and that can actually cause some serious dermatitis in these guys. So today I took the liberty of helping her out and we got them all cleaned up. And I've even used an antibacterial soap. I used chlorhexidine and we washed him up and let him soak in a little bit. And mom's going to go home and get some... Um, antibiotics and antifungal stuff we're going to go ahead and put that on and hopefully after one or two sheds you'll have a perfectly normal shake and this guy will be able to eat again but anyway that's just uh he is not a red phase ball python that is irritation <laughs> all right so we'll be checking hopefully in a few weeks and we'll see a much better snake awesome. very cool Thank you.